Hey guys, I am back to release another word. Um, sometimes that happens. Sometimes the Lord will place something on my heart and he wants me to release the word and I'll do a, um, two videos in one day. And this is that day. He's been placing on my heart um, the importance of submitting to authority. We have a lot of Christians that don't put the word of God before them. They put their feelings. And you all, we have to be prepared to walk according to God's word, no matter what the outcome of these elections are. And I just say that because we have so much division in our country and there's so many people that say, you know, well, if president elect Joe Biden, if he takes office on January 20th, then he won't be my president. Well, honey, that puts you in direct conflict with the word of God. The word of God has to be the authority. I keep saying that it must trump the way we feel. Um, God raises up kings and he brings kings down. And it's important as a Holy Spirit filled believer that you keep your heart pure. That's why we have to ask God daily renew my heart created me a clean spirit how can you pray for someone you despise you can't we have to be prepared to lift this man up in prayer if he walks in the office he would be sitting in the seat of authority he would be in a place where he is governing and the Bible says that we are to submit to the authority that is over us. Do you know that in the Bible that God used many wicked men to do his will? Joe Biden's no different. God has the ability to sway a man's heart to move according to his purposes and will. We see that with King Nebuchadnezzar. You know, one thing I love about Daniel Daniel knew how to submit to authority. Daniel knew how to get in the king's favor. Some of us, we are so bitter, we are so hostile to who God has put in authority over us that we don't know how to walk in favor. We don't know how to win people over by the wisdom of God. The Bible says, be wise as a serpent, but gentle as a dove. Then you have the ability to move in circles. Then you have the ability to move higher in rank because he respected this principle that you must submit to authority. And because he found favor in the king's sight, Daniel was able to even move up in Babylon. Even in a wicked place, he was able to be elevated. Because when you submit to God's authorities, his ways are not ours. That's why you can't trust in your own understanding, but you must lean on God's wisdom. So many people, you know, we see this even with President Trump. They have spoken against God's anointed. They have spoken against him. Wicked things, which will cause curses in their life. People have to learn to control their tongue. That goes back to what I talked about earlier about putting a guard over your lips. Ask the Lord, Lord, help me. Put a guard over my lips so I only speak the things that edify and speak according to your will. And he will be faithful to do that. But you've got to submit to his ways. So I say that because the Lord keeps putting this on my heart. Do not speak against authority. This even goes to people that you work for, your boss. Submit yourself to authority. You might not like the way they do things, but when you submit to their authority, you find yourself being elevated because you find yourself in the favor of that person instead of speaking against them. The Lord gives us a spirit of excellency that in everything we do, we work in such a way that it brings honor to his name. We work in such a way that people are, even he makes our enemies, the Bible said, to be pleased with us, to favor us. So I come to you today, we cannot walk as carnally minded Christians that get caught up in their feelings and they say who they're not going to submit to. Submit to the word of God. In order to prosper, in order to be elevated, in order to walk in the blessings of the most high God, you've got to submit to his word, his ways, 
are not our ways. His thoughts are not our thoughts. So you want to prosper in the land? Here's a secret. Submit. Submit to authority and trust in God. He may put you in places where you are sitting next to the king. He may put you in places such as, uh, what was his name? Nehemiah that rebuilt the wall. He may sit you in places where you are the king's cupbearer, where you have the king's ear, and you'll have to have the respect of the king. Now, that doesn't mean that you bow to things that don't honor God, but you do things in such a way that you glorify him and people will acknowledge your God to know that he is the true and living God by the way you conduct yourself. Stay in character and let God be God. Let him be true and let every man be a liar. So I come today to release that word. I pray that it will bless someone. I know that the Lord is this is in his perfect timing. So I know that it will edify someone somewhere. You all have a blessed day. I love you. Walk in love. First Corinthians 13 type of love. It's not a love that is something you can manufacture on your own. It's the love of Christ. It's not personal. When you love your enemy, you're loving with the love of Christ. Because we know this flesh is good for nothing and this flesh will lead us astray so i pray that you learn to love others with the love of christ that you allow his grace to be an extension that you are able to apply and use and uplift others even when they don't deserve it all right you all take care